Good morning, my friends. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. All right, so the bread's been running overnight to go ahead and filter out and clean out to get ready for our first freeze drying uh, extravaganza, because that's what I'm gonna call it. So it said for the bread, it was gonna take about 15 hours. You can see it's at 14 hours right now. So we got another hour left and then we will check it out. But I wanna show you something. I have a great cost comparison, guys, on what uh, meat prices and what they've done here recently. So let's check this out. I talked a little bit yesterday about how much things were going up. So look, here is a roast that I've had in the freezer since April, and it was $12.37. $7.99 a pound for 3.10 pounds. And you can see it's a pretty good chunk, thick roast, $12.37. Over here is what I bought yesterday. It also says that it's $7.99 a pound. But look, how can that be? This one is 3.10 3 pounds. Looks like they had the total price at $24.77, but I got it for $12.37. This one is 1.74 pounds for $13.90. So it's a little play on prices, on pricing, but you can see the one on the right <laughs> is significantly bigger and thicker than the one on the left. Now, granted, guys, I did get buy one, get one free, and I'm very thankful for that. But uh, if this was not buy one, get one free, my goodness, look at the increase and look at the difference in these roasts. Now, these babies are going to go into the freeze dryer. As soon as they're done, I'm going to put these in a crock pot. I'm going to make up a really nice gravy. We're going to cook these all day, and then they will go in the freeze dryer tomorrow because I want to skim some of the fat off and make sure we get everything trimmed so they're out thawing right now. Okay guys, day two of working on the high tunnel. Pardon the music in the background. Uh, my husband's a little bit rock and roll and I'm a little bit country. Those of you who are our age know what that means. You can see we're doing some improvising up there those peaks are probably about 16 to 18 feet high we hadn't measured yet but uh, they're pretty darn high up there so they are having to put uh, the bar down the middle and then they're attaching the hoops as they go because uh, it's so heavy we want to make sure that they don't fall over Okay guys, the bread has completed its process. We think now we're gonna be ready to be up and running here real soon. So today is my grandson and my best friends and her friends birthday celebration so you can see what we got going on the grill today. Say hi Sugar Plum. Hi. So this is our friend Brandon. This is my best friend Jeanette. Hey everybody. 30 plus years. All right guys they've made a pretty good progress. They have seven more bows to go. They're going to try to get those done before the end of today. Um, our brother-in-law's gotta go on, uh, on a trip. And uh, so then my husband will be able to build uh, the base and uh, the end walls and add up the purlin. It's been a very hot, um, very busy day as you can see, lots going on. Hi. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. We'll be in touch this week. Take care, God bless, stay cool. Bye-bye.